Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about the new Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. Like, oh, Urban Decay have been teasing as well. I don't know about you, but me, for so long with this palette now, like, it came out in America, it feels like ages ago it came out over there, and we've just been waiting. Like, social media has just blown my mind with this palette. Swatch videos, Snapchats, eye makeup looks, everything, and I've just been like, oh, bring it out so, so I can see it. Like, personally, I'm such a fan of Urban Decay, like, everything Urban Decay, just, just give it to me. Give me all the Urban Decay, just give me all of it, just all of it, just give me everything Urban Decay. Yeah, any day. So I thought I'd wait for you, and we could test it out together, like, since I bought it, like, three days ago, I haven't touched it, like, I've just stared at it, like, I've wanted to swatch it, I've wanted to play with it, but no, I thought I'm gonna wait till I film my YouTube channel, and here we are today, we're gonna film it. So there are the shades, the palette comes with eight matte shades and four shimmer shades, and they are just, they're gorgeous, like, you just saw the palette. The palette is beautiful. Oh, just, just, oh, look at them, look at them. This palette, oh. If it had a gold, it would be everything. It's not quite everything because it's missing a gold look. I do understand they couldn't fit a gold shade in there because it's not really a shade I would replace for a gold, but it needs gold. Gold just makes, like, I love gold, like, Golden brown eyes or bronze eyes, anything, yeah. They're me. This palette is me. I'm gonna stop talking because this video is half an hour long. Okay. Let's just get on swatching. So, first of all, I'm gonna start with the lightest shade that you saw in the palette. That was Ounce. Oh, look. And that's just the first shade. Like, I don't even know if you can see it that well on the camera. To me, it looks like the perfect brown brown shade. Like, I told you I was fussy with my brown brown shade. I would use that one. Like, well, I don't know yet. I haven't, I haven't tried it to say it's perfect, but it looks perfect. <laughs> then the next shade is Chaser. Like, you can see how lightly that I'm rubbing my finger across as well. Like, it's not that pigmented. There's definitely something there. Then the next shade is Sourced. <laughs> oh, hello, pigment. Like, guys, I know my swatches are really bad. Like, I will get better at this. Like, it's hard. Like, that looks like the other end of my wrist, but that must be the front of my wrist. But you can still see the colour. You can still see it. It's fine. Look. That is nice. And then the next shade is Low Blow. Like I said before, you can see how lightly I'm pressing my finger across my arm. Like, I'm not dragging it or, like, forcing anything. It's just one swipe. Well, a couple of swipes, but... Look, look at that already. And then the first shimmer shade of the palette, Lumbre. Now, I'm so interested to see this shimmer because, you know what, you guys are seeing these swatches before me. So I'm just putting my finger in the swatch and like, you're seeing it before me. Like, I'm so, like, I saw about four people say that the shimmers in this palette were awful. I don't know how I feel about that one yet. I don't know how I feel yet. I can't, I can't give you a decision yet. I'll let you know. And then, He Devil. That didn't swatch out that easily. It looks sort of, I'm gonna swatch it again. I'm gonna swatch it again. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that shade. It looks slightly chalky. But a swatch test will never tell you how a shadow is going to be until you try and blend with it like each eyeshadow and each person are all to their own everyone is different like what works for me might not work for you you might love a palette that i hate that i can't work with if you can work with it it works he devil oh that is 
bomb. Oh, oh! See, this is what this is what makeup does to me. It just excites me. It excites me. <laughs> okay, now I'm officially over over that shade for the next shade. Scorched. Oh, <sighs> they were lying. They were lying. Whoever said that the shades, they got it wrong. They got it completely wrong. Well, I would say that the ma are worse than the shimmers. The shimmers are bomb. Look at that, like. And it's so smooth. That's everything I want in a shimmer. I don't know what they want from the shimmers. Everything I want from my shimmer is this. And KM. And Fugo. And Fugo. <laughs> mm. I don't know. I'm becoming more and more less inspired by this swatch test. The colours are still bomb. The shimmers are bomb. The mattes might be bomb. <laughs> We don't know, we haven't used them like that. You, you, can't, you don't know until you've tested it on your eye. You don't know. Ashes. Uh, no. That's supposed to be the darkest shade in the palette. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, we've got another shimmer. Save the palette, Ember. Ember? Yeah, Ember. Save your, save your sisters, Ember. Save your sisters. Oh! Good going, Ember. Good going. I wish I could just use all the shimmers. I really do. Wish I could just use all the shimmers. We can't. So, that is the end of the swatching. Let's get on to testing the... Hi, Blair. I have already done my brows and primer eyes. Just because I didn't want this video to be another like half an hour long again. Like, let's try and get it down to like 10 to 15 minutes. So, I'm just going to quick time do everything for you and speed through it all. So, you don't have to watch half an hour with me again. So, I'm going to start with this shade, Chaser, and just go in and cover my whole eyelid as a transition colour. And I'm just going to take any random fluffy brush. Anyone is fine. Just that in the crease. Then I'm going to take the shade Source, this one. I'm just using the same fluffy brush. I'm not going to put that all over the lid, I'm just going to take that and blend that right into the crease. So then I'm going to take the shade He Devil and Enfugo. <laughs> and I'm going to take that on a small shader brush. This is the Morphe M326. Absolutely teeny tiny. It's so cute. <laughs> Everything small is cute, isn't it? <laughs> take that and just line the inner part of my crease. This is just because, like, I don't have that much eyelid space. So when I start to blend colours and try to get them to transition and, oh, what is that glitter on my face? Do you see this glitter, like, this glitter is all the way from when I went to wireless. Like, how am I still getting covered? <laughs> how am I still getting covered in glitter? <laughs> anyway, just defining my crease when I'm using like light, lighter colours to darker colours and trying to get them to transition. This just makes it so much easier than just going straight in with a fluffy brush and the colour just all moving about and having to tidy it all up. And if you don't have a lot of loose space or like hooded eyes like I do, this will save your life. And then I'm just going to take a smaller fluffy brush. This is the Nanshi Eye Crease Brush and blend that out. I'm not going to lie to you guys, these shades are so much easier to blend, like they're a lot easier to blend than they were to swatch, they're not as chalky on the eye, 
as they were on the swatches. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm a bad swatcher. <laughs> I don't know. Then I'm gonna take the shade Kane on a flat brush. This is just a Morphe flat brush. It doesn't have a number. It's just, just a flat brush. Any flat brush is fine. And then I'm just gonna take that and press that on the inner and outer corner of my crease. Nowhere in the middle. Leave the middle alone. Leave it alone. Don't touch it. Then I'm just going to take that same Nancy brush and blend that up into the crease. But not in the middle. Don't go near the middle. Like It doesn't matter if you do go near the middle because you can just clean it up with concealer. But it will make your life a whole lot easier if you don't go in the middle. So just stay away from it. So now I'm going to take concealer just on a Morphe. M113 brush. It really doesn't matter what brush you use to put the concealer on with, like whatever brush you're comfortable with. Use your finger if you want. Like, I'm just going to take that and pat that in the middle. I'm just using concealer because, like, these shimmers, like I said to you, they're bomb. And I want to see their full potential. And I did go slightly over where I meant to. I can't pretend like I didn't. But see, like I said, it's fine. Just clean it up with concealer. I'm going to take the shade Ashes, the darkest shade in the palette. And I'm just going to go on the outer and inner corner of my eye. Again, just a small blending brush just to blend that out. Then I'm just going to take a flat brush again. Any flat brush will do, it's fine. I'm gonna be hella extra and mix all three shimmer shades, just because I can. Like, why not? I wanna try them all. The shimmers are everything in this palette. Well, I hope they are. I hope they are when I put them on. I hope this palette doesn't just, just break my life, please. So I'm gonna start with Lumbre, the first one. I'm just gonna take that. And I'm not going to spray them. I want to see their true pigment before any Fix Plus or anything. Let's see. Oh, see. It's fine. It's fine. The shimmers saved the palette. And like, if these shimmers weren't in this palette, I'm telling you. Urban Decay would have let themselves down. The hype over this palette as well. The hype. It's my own fault. I shouldn't buy into the hype, should I? Who's kidding? I probably would have bought it anyway. Because <laughs> uh, that's me. I didn't even tell you. So I just put on Dirty Talk. Like, as I was talking to you, I put on Dirty Talk. <laughs> Now I'm gonna go in with Scorched. Like you really don't need to be this extra and go in with all three. Pick one or two or three if you want three. But you really don't have to. Then again with a small blending brush, I'm just gonna go over the outer corner and the inner corner of my eye just to make sure there's no harsh lines. Now I'm going to go and do this eye and the rest of my face off camera because like I said, don't want to see half an hour of me again. So, see you in a hot minute. So then to finish the eyes, I'm going to take the shade Enfugo and I'm going to take that large flat brush and I'm just going to blend out the lower lash line. Oh, fall out. Then I'm going to take the shade Ounce and I'm going to take the tapered crease brush by Nanshi. And I'm just going to apply that to the inner corner of my eye and my tear duct. 
just to brighten up the eye. Like applying a lighter color, especially when you're working with dark, heavy colors like this, to the inner corner of your eye, just really helps to brighten the whole look all together. Now guys, this is a big thing for me. It is a big thing. I'm fussy with brow bone highlights. So this better be good. It looks good though. It looks exactly the same. Well, not exactly the same, but it's very similar to the Kylie Cosmetics. I don't know the name of the shade, but it's in the burgundy palette. It looks very similar to that. That is my ride or die brow bone shade. So then this is the finished look. I haven't got any foundation on, just concealer and some hula and some bronzer. Just because I really couldn't be bothered, like, I just wanted to be quick today with my makeup and get it done and get out, so. I'm so late, like, I'm going to give you a little review on this, but I'm going to have to do it in a bit. Two, it's only two seconds for you anyway, so don't worry. <laughs> nah, but how personal is this, though? Like, you're sitting with me on the sofa, like, can't get more personal than that. We're literally just chilling on the sofa, talking about makeup. Like, what more does a girl want than fluffy pillows and makeup talk? Me personally, chocolate and crisps and sweets. We need munch. We need munch and ice cream. And then this would be the best thing ever. Next time we'll get all of that. You can get all of that. Go get all of that. Go get sweets, chocolate, ice cream. Get it all, sit down, munch, munch with the video. I'll just, I'll just get on with my review. Like guys, to be honest with you, I have mixed opinions on this palette. Like I said, like a hundred times before, the shimmers are bomb. I love them. Like, look at this. I don't even know if that was in focus, but I hope it was in focus. That's no fixed puffs. That's just their payoff. No, like I have not use a shimmer in so long without fix plus like it's just it's just standard now to spray fix plus when you use a shimmer but you didn't need fix plus with that so to me i think that is a really like that is everything i want from a um shimmer the mattes they weren't hard to blend they were really blendable i'm just not a fan of i don't know like i try to use every shade in the palette for you guys i think the only one i didn't use was the ember one now, I don't know if it's because, I don't know if I made a mistake, like, and I don't know if it's because I mixed He Devil and KN, that I sort of, I don't know. I felt like the shades were very, very similar, considering you're using them all on the same eye. There wasn't much difference. But I want to use it again and maybe use less of the shades, rather than trying to pack the whole palette on. Maybe then you can tell more of a difference between the colours. I don't know. Overall, I love Urban Decay. I just love Urban Decay. Like, I'm not, like, I don't love the palette as much as I love the Smoky palette. Like, Urban Decay, no, Naked Smoky palette will forever have my heart. This has not stolen the place in my heart for that. But, do I think you should get it? Definitely. You <laughs> can just never have enough eyeshadow palettes, in my opinion. Like, <laughs> I'll send you out to buy everything, though, like. Because that's just me. <laughs> but I hope you liked my review. I hoped it helped someone somewhere. If it didn't, I'm sorry. I'll see you again next time, guys. Mwah.